Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I thought I'd bring you guys the cash stuffing from my side income that was left over from the month of August. And I know we're already in September, a few days already deep into it. But some of these incomes I don't actually receive until the last day of the month. So this will probably be a reoccurring theme that I will be coming to you in the beginning of the following month, bringing you the last cash stuffing for the previous month. So just be prepared for that. And I'm realizing that as I go along. Today, I thought I'd go ahead and budget out exactly how much side income I have. And I have made a few changes as to what I want to do with this side income money. So I'll be budgeting it out and then actually going to the bank, get the funds and doing a cash stuffing. You guys seem to like the cash budgeting and cash stuffing combination videos. So I'm going to go ahead and do one of those today. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna be using the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner. I'm gonna be using this planner specifically for side hustles. So whenever you see the pretty pink flowers show up on the screen, you know that I'm probably stuffing some side income, okay? Um, I'm gonna be using today the Sharpie S Gel Pen. The book is listed in my Amazon storefront. This is a weekly budgeting book, but I'm using it for side hustles only. So if you're a weekly budgeter, you can use this book. There's also, um, a review of this book, I'll list the video up here above. So if you want to see page by page what's included in this book, you can always look at that video. Um, there's also a bi-weekly book, which is the first book that I've ever released. And that one is similar to this layout, but it's for bi-weekly and it has a different cover. It's black and white. And I'll list a video link up here for a review of that bi-weekly book that you also can purchase on Amazon. And then my newest release is has it's a bi-weekly budget book but only for six months worth of budgeting. And it does have some savings challenge included. So it's a special edition. And I'll link a video up above for that. For, for today, I'm gonna be using this one since I'm stuffing side income. And if you were here before, then I did a projected for the month of August, how much side income that I would like to receive. And I always say this or something better. Um, and so these were the incomes that I was expecting to receive. And this was the plan of what I was going to do as far as sinking funds, giving, and some cash envelopes. No bills needed to be paid out of this income, okay? I did do a side income stuffing in the middle of the month, which I might follow suit with that again this month. And, um, oh, not this one. Sorry, that was a YouTube income. Here. And so I had some income here, and I already put some into some sinking funds out of that monthly plan. I am, however... I'm going to be stuffing the rest of the side income that I have for this month. And so I'll be completing that on this sheet here. So first we'll budget it all out and then we'll actually complete the tracker, okay? So first I think we should start by defining what side income I received for the second half of the month. Okay. The first one would be for my book sales. And um, I really appreciate everyone who has purchased the book. This was, um, the income for the books are two months behind. So this is the income that I received for the month of June when I first released. And I think the books had only been out about a week or two and I received $249. Um, this has just grown exponentially. And I'm telling you guys, I just wanna give a huge thank you to anyone who has bought any of my products and hopefully they are helping you. And so I'm really thankful that you guys have helped me in that way as well. Next, I will say my Etsy store. Again, huge kudos to anybody who brought any product, who bought any products from me on Etsy. I received um, $177 for the second half. I still have about $200 in Etsy. They put my account in reserve, so I can't always cash it out right away, but um, this is what I was able to cash out by the end of the month, and so I'm gonna count that towards August, even though I have some other earnings still waiting. Um, and so that's $177 for that. I also had side income, and I don't know if you guys know, but I babysit um, one of my coworkers' babies, and she's actually my friend, and I received $60 for that. And then for my Amazon affiliate program, I received $163. And I thought this would be a little bit more because I was counting on the current month. But again, this is from the month of June. So everything that I'm receiving is kind of two months behind. 
Um, so for this one, this is June's income. So next month you'll see what that will be. And I'm gonna be doing a budgeting layout for my side incomes just like I did last month, this month, and that should be coming out shortly. Next I have my YouTube income, and that is the last one. And for YouTube, I received $1,261. Let's just go and give a clap to that. <laughs> because that income is directly related to you guys watching my videos, supporting, liking, comment, subscribe, all that, su subscribing, whatever. Yeah, all of those things, doing all of the things is what equaled up to this, especially the views. So thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. This whole side income hustle game has just like, elevated my family in so many different ways. And I truly, truly want to say thank you. Total for all that, 249 plus 177 plus 60 plus 163 plus 1261 is $1,910 for the second half of the month for side hustles. That's bomb. And that's 1910. Now, I decided to change up some things from my monthly plan. And the main change that I'm making is I want to do savings challenges. So I'm going to put that here. And my savings challenges, I'm going to put $500. So I will be bringing a new video to you guys in regards to savings challenges for $500 worth of cash stuffing for that. I might actually be able to stuff more than that, but I know for sure $500 is where I'm at right now with it. And I'm taking that directly from this 1910. Um, and so that is changing up how my sinking funds are growing, but I'm excited to start some of these savings challenges. And I figured to take a little out of my side hustle income is probably the place it should come from. So that's gonna be a total of 500 here. I don't pay any bills out of this money. So I should have 1410 remaining. And that will be going into cash envelopes, sinking funds, and giving. So the next thing I want to do is write down cash envelopes. From the last budgeting of some side income, if you didn't see that video, I'll link that one above as well. But um, I had already taken out my $100 that I wanted to take for the month to get my pedicure and $50 towards fund money for the kids. And so for budgeting for the month, I had said I wanted to take $100. Let me see if I can get back to this page. I had wanted to take $100 for me, which I've already taken from the first half of the month, and $100 for fun. So I still owe $50 to fun because I only took 50 on the first budgeting, okay? So we're gonna do fun money, and that's gonna be $50. And my son is really excited to see the new Marvel movie, so I think we might go see that this weekend. So $14.10 minus 50. Yeah, I wish I could do that in my head but I don't think so. All right, let's see, 1410 minus 50. So that'll be 1360. Oh, and if you guys are wondering about my nails, these are by LA Colors, I think. I kind of hate that only 12 nails come in the pack. They're only $1.25 though. Don't get it twisted, they're super cheap. Um, and they're sold like at Family Dollar out here. But anyway, only 12 nails come in the pack, so you have to kind of fit in that medium nail bed length, um, range because if your nail bed's too big, they don't have enough to fit you. If your nail bed's really tiny, they don't have enough to fit you. There's only 12 nails total. And some of these gold ones were in the pack, and I'm not really loving them. I wish they were all this color, but, you know, we do what we got to do with the $1.25, okay? <laughs> all right, next, um, I'm going to budget some sinking funds. So let me just copy over the categories, hold on. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh? Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat. What's left of me? I think it, I have it all laid out. So I have Janae through, I'm even gonna put some in my dollar challenge and I have some for giving. So let's start with giving. I wanna put $200 in there. Okay. Um, let's see, so that's 200. All right, so for Janae, I'm gonna be re, um, flipping back between 
this page and this page. This is the first side income stuffing that I did. Let me get it in frame. This is the first side hustle income that I did. And this is the monthly budget of where I want it to be. And so I'm gonna match up these two to kind of see what I should put in for this time, okay? So let's start with Janae. For Janae and Jace, I wanted to put $100 for the month and I've put $50 so far for both of them. So I'm gonna put an additional 50. For Boss, I put one, I wanted to put 150 total and I've put 95. Um, so I should be putting 55, but I do have some ventures that I wanna get off into as far as Boss and since this is side hustle money, I wanna put an extra 100. So I'm gonna put 155 over into Boss. For household, I'm gonna put $40, since I already had um, put 40 out of the 80 total that I needed, so I'm gonna put 40 over there. And for medical, I had already put 50. I'm gonna put a 20 there, just we'll figure out. I get the feeling emergency is the one that's gonna take the hit, but we'll see. So I'm gonna put a 20 additional, cause I just don't wanna stuff nothing you know what i mean like i feel like it needs something so i'll put twenty dollars and then for what is this next medical gingy gingy christmas and birthdays okay so for gingy i have put i wanted to put 50 and i put 25 so i'm gonna put 25 for gingy for christmas that was that one christmas was 400 and I had 175. I'm gonna skip this one for right now and see what the end result comes up to. After Christmas was birthdays. Birthday was supposed to have 100 and had 50, so I'm gonna put 50 for birthdays. Let me put a little dash on all these. All right. For car, um, I wanted to put 100 and I'd only put 50, so I'm gonna put another 50 for car. Clothing, let's see. I wanted to put 100 and I had only put um, 25, so I'm gonna put another 75 in that. For travel, I wanted to put one, I don't know, 200 and I've only put 50, so that would be 150, but let me see, cause we're not really traveling. I had a trip plan, but we canceled it due to, you know, situation in the world. So let's hold off on that. Let's hold off on emergency. And then this is taxes, yeah. Taxes, $330. I think I'm just gonna put $100 in taxes. I keep saying I don't think I'm gonna owe that much taxes, even with this business income coming in. I think next year I'll have to be really diligent about getting a CPA and staying on top of what I have going on. The dollar challenge, I wanted to put $36 and I put six so far, so that would be at least $30 that I need to put in. But let me add up what I have so far and then I can decide how much I wanna to put towards Christmas, travel, emergency, and the dollar challenge. So if I had 1360 here and we take out the 200, then that's really um, 1160 that I have to stuff in these. So I'm gonna take that number eleven sixty minus 100 for the kids, 155, 40, 20, 25, 50, 50, 75, and 100. So I have 545 left. I think I'm gonna put in Christmas 150. So let's subtract that. Okay, I have 395 left. I'll put an emergency, no, travel I need to do. I'll put 50 in travel just to put something there. All right, that's 345 left. And then I know I had an odd, weird amount for emergency and I wanted to get it to a flat dollar amount. So I needed an $80 ending. So I'll put 280 to make that even. And that means $65 more will go into the dollar challenge. 
So let me just add all this up and make sure this adds up to the 1160. I'll go ahead and fast forward this so you guys don't have to watch it. Okay, yeah, so that equals out. So this is 1160. I'll be putting in sinking funds, which is a total of $200 remaining, which will go to giving and that'll be zero. So the final total is income 1910. And we're gonna do cash envelopes will be $50. Sinking funds 1160. Savings 200 for giving. And the balance, oh no, and the bills, which will be the savings challenge, which will be 500, 19, 10, minus 50, 11, 60, 200, and 500. Okay, so that's the game plan for this side income money from the last of August. So now I need to fill out the cash stuffing tracker. And that's gonna be mainly for all of these items here, as well as this, not the $500 savings challenge. I will pull that out later um, in order to do that second video. Actually, no, I'm gonna pull that out later because I need to decide how much I want to go into each different savings tracker or savings challenge that I have. All right, so I'm just gonna work on this, this, and this and pull out those funds. So let me start by first copying all this information over from here to here. Check for me. All right, so if you saw that in super warp speed, you saw that I made some mistakes, but I tried to fix it. Let me just clean that up so I'll stick to these side numbers. Okay, <laughs> this is why people say, she do her budget in a pen? What is she doing? Yeah, i would just be scratching out stuff. It's okay. This is my book for me to see. Well, you guys too, but you know, I don't think that pencil would pick up so good on film. And so I'm like, let me just go ahead and do it with the pen. And plus I like writing with pens. So, I mean, I, I don't mind a little chicken scratch. I hope you guys don't mind it either because I will scribble something out in a minute in a uniform fashion. Note how I'm cleaning it up so it can look the same. <laughs> anyway, okay, so now I need to do the bill breakdown so I can head to the bank before they close. So, um, let's see. For Janae, $50, I'll just do one $50 bill. Jay's the same. Boss is getting $155. I will do... Um, Let's do two 50s, two 20s, a 10, and a 5. That'll be 155. Household is getting just two 20s for $40. Medical, just 120. Gingy, I'm going to give her a 20 and a 5. Um, Christmas, let's do 150. Um, birthdays, let's just do a 50. Uh, car, we will do two 20s and a 10. And I really need to get up on this car situation. I. <laughs> One of my tires just lost air. I think I, I ran over something and sliced it. So my boyfriend went and got one new tire. I'm like, what? Why didn't you just tell me and we could have got all four? He was like, well, we could just go get the other three now. I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, clothing at 75. I'm going to get um, 150, 120, and 15. Travel is getting 50. We'll just do $150 bill. Emergency is getting 280, so I'll do two 100s and four 20s. And taxes is getting 100, we'll just do two 50s. And then the dollar challenge is getting 65. Let's go ahead and put two 20s, 
two tens and a five. 20, 40, 50, 65. Yeah, 65. And then giving, I'll do two fifties and five twenties, just in case I have someone I need to give to. And then fun, we'll just do a $50 bill. So let me put that. Okay, so let's just make sure this all adds up. This is three one hundredths for three hundred dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen fifties, and that is six hundred and fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, twenties, and that will be four hundred. One, two, three, four, five, five tens. And that should be 50. And then one, two, three, three fives, which will be 15. All right, let me see if all this adds up to the right numbers. So the total should be the 1160 plus 200 for giving plus $50. So 1410. So let's see if this adds up to 1410. So I have um, 300 plus 650 plus 400 plus 50 plus 15. Uh-oh, I didn't do something wrong. Let me see. 75, 75, 75. Gotta be one of these fives is all I can think of. Let me see. 10, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70
second guess or feel guilty that I'm not putting money in other funds. That's just gonna be like a me jar. And if I choose to take some of the me jar and save it, then that's what it is. But if I choose to do something fantastic that I would never do because I would be so leery of spending that much money on something, I'm gonna do it. And I don't know what that is yet, but trust me, you guys are gonna find out before it's done. So hang in there with me, okay? All right. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna go ahead and do all of the um, sinking funds. My cat has been super attracted to this wallet when it's not put up. So I always have to make sure I put it up because she wants to chew on it. Maybe because it's leather, I don't understand it. But um, yeah, you can't chew on my binder, ma'am. You just can't. All right, so first is Janae. And I'm gonna scoot this over here some. Janae should have $625. I did let um, both my kids spend $50 recently. My daughter needed a see-through backpack, like a PVC backpack um, ordered and sent to the house for school because someone at her school did something stupid and brought something inappropriate in a backpack. So the whole school has to buy PVC backpacks, like clear ones they can see through. So she wanted to buy this certain kind, so I let her do that, um, as well as she wanted to get her hair done, and so I let her do that. So that was her $50. I let both of the kids spend $50. So we'll do Janae first, and then I'll talk to you about Jace issues. All right, six twenty-five for Janae. One, two, three, four, fifty-five, fifty, seventy, ninety, six, ten, six, fifth, six, fifteen, twenty, six, twenty-five, and I'm going to be adding fifty dollars in today. Let me scoot this tracker out of here, and that's just going to be a fifty-dollar bill. So I'll put that in there. So really, this is just replenishing what they kind of already spent, but. Anyway, 1, 2, 3, 4, 55, 56, 620, 40, 60, 65, 70, 675. So she'll be back at 675. And today is 9, 3 or 4, I don't even know. We'll just put 3. And this is side income. And we'll put $50, which is 675. So that's Janae. Now for Jace. He happened to go to Michael's with me when I made my 100 cal I'm not 100 calorie. I keep wanting to say 100 calorie something. I said it in the video when I made the actual envelopes. If you didn't see that 100 envelope challenge box that I made, I'll put the link up here. But um, for the 100 envelope challenge, I went to Michael's to pick up some paper so I could make that box. And my little son went with me. And he was super excited about the things that they had there. The main one being... Um, this Rex kit that they have. It's like a stem kit where you put these things together that actually move once you get done. So you put pieces together similar to like how you would for a Lego set, but it's actually stem. So it's like more a science-based program kit. And when he, when he got done putting it together, you could rip this thing out and it flew a disc up into the air, like higher than the house. We were ripping it outside and it, it but he had to put all the pieces together and follow all the instructions and he loves those kits. Anyway, so at Michael's, I let him buy one of those kits and some Play-Doh and he just was having the time of his life in there spending up $50. So I took 50 out of his account. So with this new $50 that he's gonna get, he should be back at 675 as well. He loves that store. Now that's his favorite store, I think. One, two, three, 54, 55, 56, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. It's funny too, because I usually try to go to Michael's without anybody, just by myself, because I can get lost in there for hours. Um, but now I think he might be my Michael's running buddy because he loves all the toys and crafts and all that stuff that's in there. Next is household. Household's going to be getting $40. So I'll put side income. And those little kits, he's already trying to get back and get some more of those. So he loved those stem things that he has put together. And I, I tell you, he sat down at the kitchen and put that thing together in like three hours, which is quick comparing. I mean, if you know what the kits are about, but it took him like three hours. He just sat there like dedicated for three hours putting this science kit together. Household should have 300. That's 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83. All right, that's 300. Clothing is next. Clothing has $200, and this time for clothing, I'm gonna be putting in 75. 
So let's make sure it has 200, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 2. So that's 200. And then we're going to put 75. And that was going to be, hold on one second. Let me rearrange this over here. Okay, Colding was going to get a 50, a 20, and a 5. And um, that's 1, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 240, 45, 50, 75. <laughs> Where'd that 20 come from? 75. Let me count it again. 1, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 260, 65, 70, 275. All right. 9. Three, we're just gonna say side income and that's 75 for 275 total next is car maintenance and car maintenance has 925 and 93 side income let's see how much we're supposed to put in car car needs $50 so that should be a total of 975 now. And this is going to be spent. So I already know how this is going. Um, 220s and a 10. I have to go get those tires. And now I only need to get three instead of four. But nonetheless, I got to go out here and find some tires. And my boyfriend, he called around and he found a place. He was like, you can go here. We can get a whole set. That's what you should have did the other day. One, two, three, four, five, six. 57, 58, 850, 70, 90, 910, 930, 950, 60, 70, 975. But you know, I did have the money put away, so I'm not going to put it off on him. And he did give me the tire and fix my flat at the last minute when I must have ran over something and sliced something. It lost air so quick. And he got up first thing in the morning and went out there to go find me a tire. So, you know, you got to be thankful. And I'm very, very, very thankful that he did that for me. All right, medical 410 is where I have now. 1, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, and 410. And I'm only going to be adding a 20 to medical today. So that should make it 430. That's 1, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 420, 430. 9, 3, $20, 430. I said I was going to continue to stuff medical because we just don't know, you know, these days. So um, I'm just going to let that one run up slowly but surely, right? I'm not going to aggressively stuff it, but what do you guys call it? Low priority. That <laughs> might be a low priority sinking fund for me. Um, all right. Next is birthday and birthday has 250. That's 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 220, 40, 245, 250. And I'm going to put in birthday $50. And that's just going to be a $50 bill. And I bought something for one of my um, friends. And that's I spent $50 on that. Nine, three. So we're back where we were for, for birthdays. And I really usually don't do that. But this was kind of like something special I wanted to do. So one, 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 295, 300. And... Next is Christmas. Christmas has fourteen fifty. And for Christmas, I'm going to be putting in one fifty. Which if it has fourteen fifty, that'll be sixteen hundred. We'll be up to for Christmas, and Christmas is going to get a hundred and a fifty. So that's 150. Let's make sure this is right. 1,000, 1, 2, 53, 54, 420, 30, 40, 45, 50. Okay, that's right. 1450. And then we'll add in this 150. All right, so that's 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 54, 55, 550, 70, 80, 90, 95, 600. So 1600 for Christmas. And remember, my goal is 3000 so I'm going to have to do something quick, y'all. Quicker than I know. Next is Boss Funds. Boss Funds has 120 and I spent some stuff on those boxes and um, also some other projects I have going on. And that's why I want to stuff some extra because I think I might need to, you know, do some more things. So 
I've been spending a lot of money on like growing ideas and I actually enjoy it. 120, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20. And for boss this time, I want to put 155. So that's going to be two 50s, two 20s, a 10, and a 5. Here. All right. So if I put 155, then that ought to be 275. Then 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 220, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 275. Okay, then, boss funds. We got a little bit to spend on something I want to do. All right, Gingy is next. I bought Gingy some more litter. I usually try to buy litter in bulk and some cat food. I buy her treats here and there, but cat food, I try to buy dry cat food that she just has all the time out. Um, and so I bought that and some litter. So she was down a little bit. And for her, I'm going to put 25, which is a 20 and a five. So that's five. And so she should be at exactly 200 again, which is where her envelope seems to live. But you know what? I'm just thankful she has an envelope. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 2. All right, 200 for Ms. Ginge. Next is travel. And travel has 670. And let's see, that's one, two, 53, 50, uh oh, 54, 55, 20, 40, 60, 86, 620, 40, 60, 670. Yeah, and for travel, I wanted to put a $50 bill. So I'll be 1, 2, 53, 54, 55, 550, 70, 90, 610, 620. Oh no, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 720. That's right, 720. And hopefully we'll be able to go somewhere soon. I, we like to travel as a family is the issue, but you know what, I might just take, oh, this is hardwoods, I'm not putting anything in there. I might just take my kids somewhere, um, like a road trip or something, just so that we can you know, still get out of the house. Um, and maybe have like a house with a pool or something like that. Um, but usually I travel with my sister and my mom and my aunt. And so all of us getting together is just not a safe time for everybody to gather like that. You know what I mean? So we're trying to like just be on pause for a little while. All right. For emergency, I have 4820. 1000. These stick together. Hold on. Let me separate them. Okay. One, two, three, four thousand in the bank. One, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty seven, seven fifty, seven seventy, seven ninety, eight ten, eight twenty. Right. And I said I was gonna get rid of that weird amount. So today is the day. Side income. And for side income, I mean emergency fund, I said I was gonna put in two eighty. Right, so that should be 49, 50, 50, 100. Okay, and that is going to be two 100s and four 20s. So that's one, two, 53, 50. Wait a minute, what about one, two, 20, 40, 60, 80, 280. All right, let me add this in here and hopefully this comes out to a nice round number because I'm telling you. Here. Okay. There we go. So that's four thousand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty-nine, nine, fifty, seventy, ninety, five thousand, ten, five thirty, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety. Oh wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, Lord, y'all. Let me get this together. Okay. One, two, three, four, four thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty nine, nine fifty, seventy, ninety, one thousand ten, 
1,030, 1,050, 1,070, 1,090, 1,100, right? Okay, 1,100 plus 4,000 is 5,100. All right, we got it. Kind of, but we got it. <laughs> All right, I'm not putting, oh yeah, taxes, I'm going to put $100. I had took a hundred out of here for something, but anyway, taxes. I'm going to put a hundred dollars, which is going to be two fifties. So taxes now has a hundred and five. Giving is next, and giving is going to get. And there's nothing in giving, so giving is going to get um, two hundred, which is going to be two fifties and five twenties, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty one. Okay. So that's 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Write that on here. Nine, three, side income, 200. All right. That's everything for all of the sinking funds. So the last thing I need to do is this last $50 goes into one of my cash envelopes. Whoa, get down in there. Goes into one of my cash envelopes for... Um, fun. So let me get that together. I actually stuffed a 10 over here. You guys look, that's going to go on the dollar challenge to all of these monies, but right now, no. All right. So for fun, which I also titled as dining out, I'm just going to put $50. These little small um, envelopes that fit inside this key holder is in my Etsy store, which is linked below. And the cash stuffing wallet as well as um, this little mini wallet which holds these cash envelopes so they just go down in here I have quite a bit of them but they're all empty right now because I'm just about to get paid dining out Salisa grocery gas I fit them all down inside this little side pocket and then put the zipper over the tips and zip them up and I sell the little cash envelopes inside my Etsy store and the wallet itself is linked down below my Amazon storefront there's a ton of stuff down there you guys my coin jar is down there my dollar challenge jar even though mine is broken is listed down there this mat that I'm using to film on my cash envelope wallet there's a ton of stuff so check out some resources down below in the Amazon storefront if you're looking for anything to start your channel or to you know help you along on your journey all right, so that's everything as far as cash stuffing, my second side hustle income. I do want to do some shout outs from my last video. So hold on just one second. Let me get that. The last video that I did for cash stuffing of my regular income, I had the hashtag pick me if you wanted to be picked for a possible shout out at the end of the video. This one that it picked was saving with Mrs. V. And she put on here, not ham and cheese, LOL. You're doing so well with your channel. Hashtag pick me. Hey, Mrs. V. Yeah, her and I, we've been like friends on YouTube. I consider us friends. I don't even know if we're friends, but I say I've been watching her and she's been commenting under my videos as well. And we've had some side conversations, so I consider her a friend. So she's been one of my friends here on YouTube for a little while now. She has a channel um, and she does lots of really cool content. One of my favorite pieces of content she produces is um, she'll track every single dollar that she spends out of her cash envelopes for the whole week. And I am so nosy. I love to see all the little details of where she spent, got a coffee or a McDonald's or a Dollar Tree run or whatever she's doing with her money. I like to see all the little details. And it always inspires me to kind of track and keep, you know, keep a hold of what I'm spending my money on as well. Cause I just kind of take it out of cash envelopes and spend it and don't think about it. So, hey, Ms. V, thanks for being in my comments. Thanks for being a friend, girl. I appreciate it. Next, I have live and laugh with Linda. And she said, hashtag pick me. I love the fetch reward. It's so rewarding. Just scanning receipts. Congrats to you and all the people that signed up. That was a gift card right there. Nice stuffing. Yes, Linda. <laughs> okay, I told you guys before, but I'm going to say it again in case you didn't see it. I was not expecting so many people to use the fetch rewards to sign up. But you know what? I'm thankful. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for signing up. Thank you guys for using my code. And I have earned so many points just off you guys using the code. 
Um, I left my fetch reward down below because I really do think if you can get some free gift cards, just doing nothing but scanning some receipts, I scan them as soon as I come out of the grocery store. I just sit in the car, take a picture before I even drive off so I won't forget. Once in a blue moon, there'll be one inside my little wallet holder, which is what you guys saw the time when I actually mentioned it. And now so many people have signed up. So I'm glad because I feel like everybody should earn a little bit of something back on what we spend, you know? So anyway, Linda, she thought that um, the Fetch Reward program was a good program as well. And she was just telling me congratulations because so many people had signed up for the um, Fetch Rewards under my code. And like I said, I really appreciate you guys. But more importantly, this is Linda's time. And I appreciate you, Linda, for even being in my comment section, for being a real one, showing up and commenting. And I haven't checked out her channel, but I will. And I think you guys should as well. You'll see it on the screen, Live and Laugh with Linda. All right, and finally, the last comment is Angela Davis. And it says, hashtag pick me. I just ordered from your Etsy store. I'm new to cash stuffing. Your videos are very helpful. Thank you. Hey, Miss Davis. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad and so thankful for you being here. And thank you for your purchase from my Etsy store. I really appreciate everyone who has shopped there. Um, and I'm so glad that you said my videos are helpful because sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm just doing my groove. I'm not so attentive to the educational piece of it, but I feel like sometimes when you guys comment down below, I'm realizing you're catching little small nuggets along the way that's helping you on your journey. And then you guys drop comments down below that help me on mine as well. So this really is a mutual give and take. I'm glad I was able to be helpful to you and your cash stuffing journey or your budgeting journey. Um, and I'm really super thankful that you shopped for my Etsy store. I appreciate you being a real one in my comments, showing up, showing out. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, then go ahead and leave this comment right here that says hashtag budget for life, right? Because that's what we're all on. We're trying to be budgeters for life. I know I am because it's keeping me on track and it doesn't take that much energy or effort. But when you start budgeting, it's just about staying in the flow at all. You know what I mean? So I want to say I need to be budgeting for life. So thanks for watching. Look out for a new couple of videos. One is going to be um, some savings challenges that I'm going to be updating and doing. One is going to be my budgeting for my side income and my regular income for this month of September. And I do have a few changes coming to my regular payroll. So yeah, um, more changes to come, more videos to come. Thank you for being here. Do all the things, like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that so that the video could be suggested to somebody else who might possibly need it. All right, you guys take care. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your holiday too, okay? Bye-bye.